How to knit fingerless gloves. Let's be frank, knitting fingerless gloves aren't really about keeping your palms warm and your fingers free. They're about looking rad. You will need size nine knitting needles, a ball or skein of bulky worsted weight yarn, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. Optional, a row counter. Step one, tie a slip knot leaving an eight inch tail of yarn after it and cast on 24 stitches. Step two, knit 15 rows of two by two rib stitch, knitting two stitches, purling two stitches, etc. Using a row counter makes it easier to keep track of how many rows you've finished. Step three, knit 12 rows in stockinette stitch, alternating between a knit row, then a purl row, etc. You should be ending on a purl row. Step four, knit four rows in rib stitch again. Step five, cast off and cut the yarn, again leaving an eight inch tail. Tie a knot in the tail. To keep the wrist opening stretchy enough to get your hand through, be sure to cast off and rib stitch. Step six, fold the piece in half so that the knitted side, the side covered in little V's, is on the inside and the edges are lined up. Step seven, starting at the top finger end of the glove, where there are four rows of rib stitching, use a yarn needle and the knotted tail of yarn to sew about two inches of the edges together. Cut off the yarn, leaving a shorter tail of about two inches, but don't knot it. Step eight. Starting at the bottom, wrist end of the glove, where there are 15 rows of rib stitching, use the yarn needle and the other knotted tail of yarn to sew about three inches of the edges together. You should be left with a hole, for the thumb opening, in the middle of your sewn edge. Step nine. Put your hand in the glove with your thumb sticking out of the hole. If it needs to be bigger, take out a stitch or two until it fits. If it needs to be smaller, make another stitch or two. Now finish off the two sewn ends, knot the yarn, cut off the excess, and weave in your loose ends. Step 10. Turn the glove inside out and, ta-da! You've just finished half your pair. Repeat the entire process for a second glove, or just rock one for that vintage 80s look. Did you know? Although Madonna single-handedly repopularized them in the early 1980s, lace fingerless gloves were originally a fashion trend in the early 1860s.